れはスーパーベジータだAs with any Zenkai character, significant buff to his stats, which is always fantastic.、Um, they changed his main ability so that the debuff for blast damage received is significantly higher. Green card, 20% of damage inflicted, minus 5 to blast arts cost, which is nice. Nice little combination of damage and reduction of cost. His ultimate got a huge buff, massive impact damage, additional key recovery, but the minus 2 arts card draw speed is huge. Kind of like the red、um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You losing two card draw speed basically means you're gonna chuck no cards at all. And if you're stuck with a last stand unit and you get hit by something like this, oh man, it's gonna be a big, big issue. You're not gonna be able to throw any cards to keep yourself safe. Main ability gets that same alt, restore 20 key, 50% alt damage inflicted buff, which is quite nice, and a damage reduction, just like in the show. Vegeta just standing there, ready to use his ultimate ability. It makes sense that you're gonna be,、uh, you're gonna have to tank some hits just standing there. Now, the most exciting thing here has to be the fact that he's the first Yellow Saiyan Zenkai ability character. Really, really excited for this because there's a whole、uh, array of Yellow Saiyans that could take advantage of this thing. So, this is super awesome. Really looking forward to using this. His first passive,、uh, similar to before, but the cap of the blast damage buff is higher by 10%, and the first two passives are one sub count less, I believe. So, three. Counts for 40% blast damage, 6 counts for 60% blast damage. So you don't have to stand there quite as long. Second passive, 20% blast damage received when Vegeta shows up. That's always great. Third passive, this is the most exciting thing. Assuming I understand this correctly, if Vegeta's on the field and your opponent swaps out to another character, he will get 30 key, a damage,、uh, damage reduction buff, and he will also get his vanish gauge back 100%. Now here's the thing. It says it activates once, but activation counts reset when the character switches. So if you're with Vegeta, you have this proc. If you swap out of Vegeta, bring him back in, you can restore your vanish gauge by 100% again, assuming I understand the wording correctly. And if that's how he works, that's a fun little passive, is it not? That's awesome. Are you telling me that Super Vegeta is the one who actually has UI? Insanity. Now, his fourth passive applies the following effects when this character enters the field. Restore health by 10%, restore key by 40, 30% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, and 60% of strike damage inflicted. Interesting that they gave him a strike damage buff considering he's a blast type. Oh well, no big deal. We have him at Zenkai 7, 1400%, and you're probably wondering why am I using him with Bardock considering I don't use bu-、um, uh, you know, buffers on my first showcases, and it's because if you use Super Vegeta not on a Super Saiyan team, You're kind of crazy, and especially because Bardock is like the blue cooler for these teams, and not running Super Saiyans without him is、uh, kind of goofy. Now, in terms of the equipment, this bad boy is pure offense. This is fantastic for him. Look at that strike, blast, and special move. No, Elgato, how dare you die on me? Hi, the way you see this. The second one is the same thing. God damn it, Elgato. Vegeta's not even fighting yet. Special move and blast. That's awesome. And then this right here, this bad boy blast attack and special move. Man, is he gonna pack a punch. So, enough about that. Let's jump into some Golden Showdown PvP. Alright, good old God Key to start us off. And of course, we're gonna start with Barda. Alright, here we go. Vegito Blue to start. Now, I would have thought. Damn it. I would have thought this mad lad would go to a different character, but that's fine. 
Uh, we'll take a little bit of damage if he goes to the green Vegeta. I don't want to waste that Vanish Restore that we had. Hold on to that bad boy. Nice. Go to Vegeta. Nice. Let's see. Nice, nice. Not bad, not bad. Ooh! Enjoy this blue card. Aw, oh, UI didn't show up. Perfect, let's see that swap. Is he gonna side slip here? Oh, did we get him? No! If we got him right there, that would have been beautiful. Does he have a rush? I'm getting the sneaking impression that he may have one. Oh, he probably has a rush to side slip here. Nice, well played. Get ready to use up your strike versus strike theme of Bomber, didn't he? Oh wait, no he didn't! Uh oh, well we're gonna be here for a while, boys. We're gonna be here for a long while. What? Where's my sidestep? Go to you. Go to you. Drop the combo. This man does not care. He doesn't care about any drop combo. Oh, green card. I'll take it. One, two. He took so much blast damage. What is this? I'm just going to keep going. Ah, there's the switch. Okay. I wish I had a blue card there. There we go. Alright, let's take care of UI as quick as we can. Well, it's a good thing they gave this guy a significant strike damage buff because it's pretty much non-existent. Nice. Whoa. I didn't see it. All I gotta do is get rid of his vanish now. Let's see. I'm just gonna be aggressive. Pointlessly so. There we go. It's okay. Kill him. I'll just... Uh, oh my god. Actually, if Vegito has a blue card, then we're screwed. <laughs> Remember, his blue card wins. Okay, Vegito, chill out, man. You think you took away my buffs, but I got one final move for you, Chief. Goodbye. Woohoo! Let's jump in for the next one. Hello, Regen. Looking pretty good. Ooh, the new Kid Boo. Nice. This is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and roll with... You three? Yeah, I think you two will be good. Here we go. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember what the screen Kid Boo does. Or sorry, rather, I'm not familiar. I, it doesn't, uh... Okay, again, I really gotta keep saying this. I think it's ridiculous that you even get that much time to overwrite a strike. Don't you think? Doesn't it seem goofy? Get on one tap, please. I guess Bardock didn't... Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, goodbye, so. <laughs> But yeah, look at how much time he had to overwrite my strike guard. It's goofy. Oh, that's not good, friend. That's a long animation. Holy crap. Okay, this is why Super Saiyans would be super exciting, I guess. Oh, let's go. What are you? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Up the main. Goodbye, Kid Boo. And now he's getting hit with a minus two card draw speed. Unless it's unit specific. He's still alive? What is this? Kid Boo have endurance? What is this? Oh, well played. Oh no, the paralyze. Please don't paralyze. Please don't paralyze. Oh my god. Oh, but we still hit him. Paralyzed somehow worked in my favor. The clutch paralysis that shouldn't have worked. Let me get out of here. Nice. Let's go, Vegeta. Are you kidding me? I honestly thought Vegeta was going to finish him there. I honestly thought Vegeta was going to finish him there. But we didn't get a single crit. <laughs> Vegeta, why? God damn it. You gotta finish them right there. 
You could have just ended the match right there. What is happening? Oh no, and you sealed up my blue card. Oh god damn it. This is going longer than it should. Oh my god, all these paralysis. There we go. Let's ship it for the next one. Alright, hello GT. Cool, cool. See, that Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 4 is one character I think will really benefit from Super Vegeta. Alright, here we go. I'm so glad he started with this guy because now I don't have to worry about him during my combos. Let's go, Vegeta. Nice. Thank goodness we got a straight damage buff. Alright, not bad. It would be nice if you can get some crits, homie. Those are absolutely necessary for this. We got the blue card at the worst possible moment, to be honest. But look, it's the same damage cut because he swapped out. Feel free to do your giant combo. It does not feel too worrying. One tap. Alright, cool. Is he going to stick around? Alright. Please hit him. Please hit him. <laughs> Oh, there's that sidestep. I don't know if he's going to save him with Dragon Fist. Now he will. Okay, apparently not. One more card. Nope. I'm just going to hold on to that. Alright. Okay, you're out. Go for this. Goodbye. All we need to do is tap attacks for you. If the connection will let me. Well, that sucks. Alright, we're, we're good on this front. If he goes for the rush, that's no big deal either. Um, you can go ahead and take this guy's life. Feel free. I'll go to green card. I would imagine a green card is something difficult for him to toss away. I guess not. Get my Ultra Goku. Uh, I do have to be careful about him having his main ability, but we should be fine. Probably gonna pop it immediately. Oh, goodbye. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop the main in case he tackles. No tackle. I wish this thing had blast armor. It would have been nice. Oof. This was such a cool ult back in the day. I mean, it still is, but at the time it was like, holy crap, that's amazing. Hey, more Saiyans. Let's roll. This is perfect. He started with the red Vegeta. Not having to worry about his charades early is great. It's not bl oh, wait, there is Blast Armor on his blue. Whoops. All right, let me hit him back with one. Here. Remember that attack, Vegeta? That taking away of a uh, key when you sidestep is actually pretty damn clutch on Vegeta's front. One tap. Two tap. Please don't have a... You don't have a blue card. There's no way. You just used one. Let's go for this. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Go back to you. Thank you for gaining key upon swapping. Very, very clutch. I'm gonna go for one tap. It's a good thing I didn't pop my main. Alright, tackle. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, not bad. Gonna go to Bardock now. Hello, Vegeta. You don't have level 1 card draw speed at this point? Damn. I screwed up. Sir? What's the plan? I'll go right away then. Oh, that sucks. Alright, Super Vegeta, let's see. Let's pop this. Let's go ahead and hit him with the ult. Maybe I should have rushed him instead, to be honest. Oh, wait, why are you letting Super Vegeta go? Sir. That's that minus card draw speed. Go for this. Woo! Hello, God Key. Let's continue with the same thing. Here we go. Oof. This is where we drop the combo. 
Can we get another card? Cheetah, why are you so kind to me? Why are you so nice? I need another card, please. Let's see if he signs steps again. Yes! Let's go, Vegito! Holy crap! Now, this would have been a good moment for us to regain our Vanish, but we won't. Because he's already swapped once. I think it's in the middle of their combo. I, uh, sorry, in the middle of my combo that they have to swap. So, like, while I'm attacking him, if he switches over to somebody else, that's when it happens. <gasps> no! My buffs. That's not gonna chain. <laughs> oh, let's go, Vegeta. It's a shame you have no buffs. Cool. Let's open up with the tackle. He dropped his ultimate. Excellent. Absolutely wonderful. Actually, finish him, Vegeta. Last time you've been failing to finish with this ult. It's a little disappointing. Let's see. Oh my god, I weep. It's not... That PV came out of nowhere. Sorry, Vegito. Ship it for the next one. Hello, Fusion Warriors. Let's go. Some muscle. Holy crap, nothing but blast cards. Can we do something about that? I could have dodged that. But I, I wanted to introduce a pause in between to see if, uh, see if he'd go right away. Let's go to Vegito. Don't have a green card, right? Or a blue? That's nice. Nice, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, let's go. It's just a shame your strike damage is non-existent. Nice. Let's just hit him with the ult. Why not? Hit him with the ult. Nice. No crits, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Whoa, that's a lot. It's not a long animation. I should have dropped the combo, but I figured, uh, you know, there's no point in risking it. Let's go to you. Oh, damn. The one time I was going to hit him, he doesn't do it. <laughs> damn. Sorry, Ultra Goku. I mean, you didn't have to go that far. You don't have to use your ult for it. I have no cards now. How many green cards is this man going to have? Holy crap. Alright. Super Vegeta. Go to strike. Alright, cool. Draw another card, man. We need it. Go with the tackle. And then Bardock can finish that one. This man had a bajillion cards, man. I'm gonna let this be the final match. Um, I'll give my final thoughts at the end. I I'm gonna try and format it that way in that at the beginning I give some potential criticisms and at the end I give a conclusion just so people actually have, uh, I don't know, a valid gauge of how they feel about the character. All right, here we go. Go on. Didn't they just release a platinum equipment for this dude? Uh, so for Cell Saga Gohans? Isn't that fun? Let's go to you. Yes, the drop combo was successful. I wish that was another card, but I'll take that. Holy crap, you went immediately. There we go. Can I get my vanish back in time? You probably can, honestly. Ooh, let's go. Let's go and take care of someone's first life. Never mind. 
Oh, you wanted to wait that one out, but that's not going to work, buddy. Future Gohan. Let's pop the main. Hit him with one of these debuffs. Either someone's first life or their insurance should be popped. Assuming Vegeta is going to come through with this. No card draw speed. Oh, there we go. His first life. That'll handle that one better, I think. Ah, oh, crap. He sees his tackling, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Is that a rush? I hope not. Don't rush this guy. Rush the Vegeta, because I think he would live. Nice. We live. Woo. Goodbye. All right, we're almost done. Almost got these characters killed. Nice back up in case of green. Yep. Nice patience. Nice patience. Not bad. All right, cool. I'm going to go right away. That's fine. Vegeta, one more card. Come on. Get one more card right there. We could have taken care of this Gohan. All right. Oh, there's that sidestep. Nice. Let's go for taps. Ah, damn it. Wasn't there. I wasn't there in time. What are you? That's so much damage for a three star unit, too. Oh, nice play. I see what you're trying to do. Ah, crap. Namek Goku. How am I going to deal with you, man? With a holding a blue card? Simple with a tackle. Get that goddamn blue card out of my face. Here's a blue card for you. No, he had a green. Stupid Gohan. Oh, we should be able to tank this. No problemo. I'll let him do his combo. If he goes for the rush, we go to Bardock. Another one? I would have held on to that, honestly. Woo -hoo -hoo. So you're going to get me with a tap attack, but that's a negative. Goodbye, Gohan. All right, final match. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, conclusion for the character. Uh, he seems all right. Uh, he falls under the trend of just all right, Zankai's. I don't think he's mind-blowing. I don't think he's amazing. I don't think he's game-breaking. I think he's just all right. Um, and I think I'm okay with that. I, I wanted Zenkai's to be... Take him from zero to... Not like hero in that they dominate the meta, but make him decent enough that, you know, if you put him on a team, no one's going to say, wow, you're crazy for throwing that character. He's all right. He feels to be on the same level of, like, Blue Gogeta to me. That's how I interpret it, really. Um, I do like his Vanish Restore passive. I think the debuff with the card draw speed is great. And because he's the first Yellow Saiyan Zenkai buffer, I think there is some value there. But his Z ability will make it difficult for that to work with your team. Especially if you plan on uh, throwing him on, like, say, uh, GT for the... Uh, Dragon Fist, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, or traditional Saiyans if you want to buff up Angel Vegeta. I do think it's a little bit complicated with his Z ability. Um, I don't know. You're going to have to factor that in. Z ability across the entire team lost for one unit to get a Zenkai ability might not, might not necessarily be worth it. But I think it's alright. It's up to you if you plan on getting him. I would stick with discount singles. Uh, I think his highest value is the Zenkai ability. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you enjoy the content, yeah, that is the right phrase. Until next time, peace.